We want to do a comparison between the uh, Green Hornet motor, which is currently on the Sidekick, and the Magic Pie, which we want to install and to check it out. So as you can see, the Green Hornet, good looking motor, was, uh, has a spoke wheel, and it also has this computerized speed controller that needs to be mounted separate on the, on the frame of the bike. Now the Green Hornet uh, motor is a very fast motor, a very powerful motor. It'll uh, drive the sidekick at 30 miles an hour with about 150 pounds on it. And we want to compare that with the Magic Pie uh, made by Golden Motors. Uh, you can see the difference. The uh, Magic Pie is a good looking motor. It has a, it's a cast wheel other than, rather than spokes. This, is, this side of the wheel here will be mounted to the inside. So, so the wire will exit to the inside of the bike. This is a nice feature here. It's set up for a uh, disc so that you can put uh, a regular uh, caliper, bicycle caliper brake on it, which we will attempt to do later on. Now, uh, what actually comes with this motor? Let me go through the parts that, that are in the box. This is the throttle, almost identical to the Green Hornet. Uh, you can see it has the three LEDs. Uh, that gives you your battery uh, levels. It has a separate horn, uh, either horn or light button uh, mounted on it. This is a con cruise control uh, that can be uh, added to your handlebars. goes right next to the throttle. And it also has a separate accessory button on it. You get a pair of hand grips. This is the wiring harness. You can see it's, it's well labeled. Uh, those labels, that even if they disappear, you're still in good shape because all of the, all of the plugs are color coded and they, you just plug in the, uh, the colors. This is a, a nice feature too. You get an additional set of uh, terminals so that you can cut the wire down and because uh, we, we certainly don't need all this length. So if, if that's what we wanted to do, it is possible. This is the, the power supply. Uh, you only get half of the plug, unfortunately, so you may have to just cut that off and put um, solder a couple of eyes on there to attach to your battery. Uh, these are the uh, handbrake levers, and you can see they're a special lever because it's got a wire on it that goes down to your uh, wheel. And w the minute you uh, trigger that uh, handbrake, the motor itself will go into a regeneration mode. It cuts the power and the wheel then becomes a generator. And when it does that, of course, it's taking energy away from your uh, uh, bike and so it starts to slow it down. And that can be programmed. Now this, this wire here is not part of the kit, but it is available. And uh, you plug that into the wheel and it allows you to program a number of features in the wheel like uh, the ability to uh, go in reverse, how fast uh, the, the wheel will turn in reverse, uh, the amount of energy that you draw in that regeneration mode so it would uh, uh, control the amount of braking that you uh, can draw off of that wheel. Now what does it take to put this wheel on the bike? The wheel itself has an axle that is flat on the sides. So we need to lock this axle down because if not, of course, it'll spin and tear the wires up. Uh, that is accomplished. <clears throat> now these two brackets are part of your hardware kit. And what we need to do is lock that wheel onto these brackets. And so I have had to drill the, the center hole out using a half inch bit. And that was not quite big enough. So I had to take a rat tail file. That's why it's not quite uh, round. And then I cut into another little slot next to it. And the purpose of this is you have a, a locking washer that's uh, the bore is, is flat on two sides, has that little tab, and that will slide over the axle and then lock onto this, uh, lock into that little slot on the bracket. And of course, it's fastened with that nut. So that's uh, where we are right now, and we'll get this wheel on, on the bike and. Uh, see how it compares with the one that we we have on it already thanks for your uh, time bye